feel great. It's great to be actually on the water in a way. Um, it's wonderful seeing everybody on the marina, giving us a great send off. And you also come to the realization this is the last dry land you're going to see for some time. Uh, but very much looking forward to it. The second night we were at sea, uh, we were battling uh, with, uh, you know, winds of up to 50 knots, um, so it was pretty rough. Um, and those of us that had bunks on the starboard side, at the high side, you know, we made sure that we strapped ourselves in well because it was very, very bumpy. But at about 4 a.m., uh, there was a huge squall came through, a uh, huge wave, and there was a, a real knockdown on the boat. Um, and consequently, I came flying out of my bunk. So did Ian. Ian was um, aft of me. I was up in bunk number three. Um, I was fast asleep, and I woke up with the feeling of just being flying through the air. I went over the life jackets and crashed into Dave's bunk, which is bunk number four, the, the opposite bunk on the port side. Um, it, it was so sudden, and it was so horrible. Um, I just screamed out. I really hurt my collarbone and my back.